This seems like a parody, but the left-wing <laughs> Women's March is now apologizing for a fundraising note they sent out, asking for donations of $14.92. The group saying, quote, It was an oversight on our part to make the connection of a year of colonization, conquest, and genocide for indigenous people, especially before Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is the Women's March, Dana. You know, Suffrage happened and, and the women gained the right to vote about 1920, 100 years ago. Does that mean that everything that happened before 1920, women can't take part in or celebrate? I guess so, not. I guess I mean, that's that a good point. Means? I don't understand why they didn't just ask for $15. <laughs> like, why the 1492? It's like it was a fundraising. The average donation. Average. Oh, they had average. It was actually a real number. Well, up your average. Up your average, ladies. Um, yeah, <laughs> I thought that that's what, I really have long believed that we are living in an episode or a season of Veep. <laughs> with, the, with this administration. It's, i just never seen anything people, like it. It's people, incredible. People on the Hill say that everyone thinks it's House of Cards, but it's really Veep in yeah. D.C. Yeah, I, absolutely. And I think you're absolutely right. Greg, at some point when we talk about anniversaries and celebrating things that happen in history, I've kind of believed this for a long time. Do we Shouldn't we stop worrying about, not the truth, but the the, the historical facts and start worrying about the context we celebrate it in now? Like, is it the fact that in 2021, we say Thanksgiving is about coming together and loving each other and having people from different different strokes and different folks come together. Isn't that way more important than... Yeah, but, if, you, but you don't have to convince me. The, the overarching theme of wokeism is the cancellation of anything fun. Yep. But they offer no replacement uh, from their own miserable lives. They are incapable of providing joy to their friends and their family. Hence, they're always protesting because they have to stay away from their family. They've been emotionally injured by an ideology, a mind virus that makes them incapable of seeing the world the way you just described it, which is people who want to come together and have a good time. They are the member of the family that is despised and they could actually change it. But I have to admit, that was the funniest Probably the funniest tweet in history, and it's rare because feminists are never this funny. A sexist would say, a sexist would say that I disown that kind of commentary. End quote. End you know, quote. On that note of, of uh, being funny there, I'll, I'll turn to Dagan. You're a vegetarian. Yeah. Which it's all about different people come together. You eat no meat, I eat double, double meat. Are we marginalizing vegetarians by making this holiday all about the turkey? I mean, there's sweet potatoes and broccoli and all these other things, but we marginalize people because all we talk about You're is talking turkey. crap to me. I, I am not. I am not. I don't care what you eat, actually, because I am not a left wing humorless skull. Exactly. I don't go through life, to your point, trying to make your life as joyless and miserable as my own. That is the, as, to paraphrase what Greg was saying about the left, they crap with zeal all over everything that we love. There was a New York Times story, how Americans' appetite for leather and their luxury SUVs worsens Amazon deforestation. Don't crap on things we love. They need to stop it. Uh, just, just one more thing. But see, this year, at least, it's harder for the left mm -hmm. to, because last year, all they had to do was say, you're having people over for Thanksgiving. You're a murderer. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, right. you need to, well, you need to rat that. out your neighbors. Yes. You, uh, so if they're having people over, you need to call the police. The it's, it's not all about the turkey. Jessica, real quick. From my haircut to my well-tailored pants uh, to my three great-great-grandparents that are Cherokee, I'm kind of the envy of Elizabeth Warren. So the, the question to you is really, I have this Cherokee heritage, but I'm a white male. So should I like enjoy a meal tomorrow or just hate myself? I'm not really <laughs> sure where I'm supposed to land on this. I think there's a lot of self-hate that goes on on Thanksgiving anyway from the overeating. And then you just sit there thinking, why did I do this? I'm also starting to feel like some people at this table don't like liberals. <laughs> oh. A no, little unnerving. You. Thanks, I love everything. As long as you're not a fun sponge, oh, that's right. you're okay. Um, well, Jessica says we can have fun. Yes. I have a lot of fun. It's, By the way, it's you're a no great time. liberal. You're pregnant now. Oh. You're now a mom. That makes you concerned, concerned. about my tax bill. <laughs> Where's my 529? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right.